Hello, this is Jay Spangler over at Empower Abilities, and this is a tutorial on installing and using the Clock In, Clock Out EVV app on your iPhone or your Android. So the first thing we want to do is we want to install the app. So if you have an Android, you want to go to Google Play. If you have an iPhone, you want to go to the App Store. Once you have that open, you want to go and search for clock in, clock out. And from the list of apps, you want to choose the one that says clock in, clock out. It is a green color, kind of a light green color. And you want to download or get it. Now you'll see that mine has a little cloud with an arrow next to it. That's because I've previously installed it. So it's being stored up on the iCloud since I have an iPhone. So I'm going to go ahead and get it and download it. Depending on your connection, it may take a little bit of time for it to download. So now let's go see what the app looks like on the desktop. Now you'll see right here in the, the lower right hand area of my screen, you'll see there's a kind of a pea green colored app that says clock in, clock out. Now, if you're using an Android, this might be white, but it will have some of the pea green uh, coloring in it. And it will say clock, it will probably say C-I-C-O on the app, but underneath it, the writing will say clock in, clock out. The other thing is if you have any customized uh, desktop backgrounds or, or uh, icon uh, themes, this may look a little bit different, so please be aware of that. So let's go ahead and let's open it up. Now the first time I open it up, it's going. I'm going to get a, a notification that says clock in, clock out, would like you to, to send you notifications. Now this is so the app can communicate with you if it needs you to do something. So I say allow here. And this will bring me on to the main log on screen for the clock in clock out now this logs you into the clock in clock out server it doesn't clock you in and there's two fields that for one for username and one for password their username is going to be the username for your cons for your uh, attendant so it's going to be the full first name full last name and any suffixes so I'm going to go ahead and use one of my test attendance and the password is going to be a six digit number since this is an attendant and now I have the option to remember the password if I want use your judgment here and I'm going to sign in now you'll see that I you'll see that a new screen comes up and there's a blue banner here and the blue banner says you have not clocked in yet so I'm just logged into the clock in clock out server I'm not clocked into the consumers to work for the consumer yet and you'll see that underneath that blue banner there is a, a white banner that says time clocked in zero days and the times all zeros and then you'll see underneath that a little a little round icon with a clock with a green background and then underneath that some writing it says clock in clock out I mean, it says it says clock in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to push on that, that green icon with the clock in it. And then this is going to bring up a choose your mode for clock in, clock out. Now, what this is asking is there's two options here. There's a stationary and roaming. If I'm going to be stationary, if I'm going to be working at the consumer's house only, I'm going to pick stationary because what this does is this turns on the geofence, which is a 125 meter circle around the address of the of the consumer, and this will kind of this is the thing that the uh, that the the government wanted for EVV systems to be able to do. That way we, you can verify that you are working at that person's residence. Now, so you generally will use the stationary. Feature. You use the roaming when you're going when you know you're going to be running errands for the consumer. Then you'd hit roaming because that doesn't turn on the geofencing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to hit stationary. And here it's asking me for the client pen. The client equals the consumer, 
and clock in, clock out. So the, this is going to be a five digit number that the, the consumer will have. I'm gonna go ahead and add in And it says, allow clock in, clock out to access your location while you are using the app. What this is doing, this is turning on that geolocation. So I'm gonna allow that. And oh, I got a message that says that the pen you have entered is invalid. I must have typed too many characters in it or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to go back to it and I'm going to erase it. Go ahead and try it now. And now it's saying you have successfully clocked in. So at this point, I am clocked in for my consumer. So I can go about working for the day. You'll also notice that the blue banner says you are clocked in here and the time clocked in is zero days, but you notice that the uh, seconds now are counting up. You'll notice that the icon has a red background with a clock in it and it says clock out underneath it. So at this point, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to work for the day. You can just close this app. You don't log out of it. You just kind of, you just let it go to your desktop. You go about, you can, you can answer emails, you can text, you can do any kind of correspondence. You can do anything you normally do with your phone. And then when you're done with your day with the, at the consumer's house, you can go ahead and you just click on the icon again, the app on the desktop, it opens it back up. You'll see the time still clicking, uh, still ticking up. I'm ready to go and I'm ready to clock out for the day. So now I'm gonna push that, uh, now the red icon and it's gonna bring up that client pen again, which again, that is the consumer's pen number. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter the consumer's pen. And now this is gonna bring up a survey that's gonna ask me what I did at the consumer's house. And this is really where the app is so much easier and so much nicer than using the dial-up uh, clock in, clock out feature. Because I can just visually see what I've done, just click on it, and it's real quick. I don't have to wait for the voice prompts and then say, choose uh, one for yes or two for no or any of that. I can just go through and just hit everything that I did for the consumer for that day and then I can submit it. Now it says clock in, clock out. You have successfully clocked out. I am now clocked out of that consumer's house. But I am not done yet because at this point I am still logged into the clock in, clock out server. So I'd want to actually log out of that if I'm through with the day. Now, if I have more than one consumer, what I might do is I might leave myself logged in here, and then I would go and drive to my next consumer's house, and then I would go ahead and hit clock in, enter that consumer's PIN number, and do the process over. But if I'm done for the day, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the lower right portion of the screen, you'll see log out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hit that icon, and it says, do you want to log out? And yes, I wanna log out. And now I am back to that, that screen for the username and the password and I am done. So you have successfully clocked out and you successfully logged off of the clock in, clock out servers. Now there has been, there is, a, there is one gotcha that I I've, I've have found and that is for the first time you install the app sometimes, when you go to open it the first time, it, is, it will flash up and then it will close on you. If that happens, you need to uninstall the app and then reinstall it again from either Google Play or the App Store depending on your device. Uh, if you have any questions, or if you have any difficulties installing the app, please feel free to call Empower Abilities and we'd be more than happy to help you in walking, walking you through installing it. Uh, or you can even bring your phone by and I can, uh, we can also install it for you if that's what you would like. So uh, I hope you found this tutorial uh, informational and uh, I hope you start using it.